Hi, my name is Kyra McCoy, and I'm the director of the Practical Nursing Program at Edmonds College. This presentation will give you information about preparing to apply for our program and what to expect during our nursing program. Fall quarter 2023 marked the 10th anniversary of the Practical Nursing or PN program at Edmonds. The program is designed for students who are currently working in healthcare. The Edmonds College PN program mission is to educate nurses from diverse backgrounds who are caring, technically competent, technologically literate, culturally competent, and who are prepared to practice with commitment and integrity in a diverse and changing healthcare setting. Here you will see our program outcomes. Over the last six years, we've had very strong license exam or NCLEX pass rates. Most of our students complete the program and most of our students are employed right after they graduate. It is a strong labor market and there are many jobs for LPNs in all areas of healthcare. Our students also have the opportunity to continue their education to the RN or BSN level and beyond. Our program has an innovative design. The program is part-time over 21 months. Students take seven to eight credits per quarter for a total of six quarters. They will have the summer off in between academic years to enable them to work and focus on their families. It is a hybrid curriculum with lecture courses online, labs on campus, and clinicals in the community. Most quarters, students will spend one to two days per week in lab or in clinical. To be a successful online learner in our nursing program, you will need to have a computer and a reliable broadband internet connection that will support online learning environment. We do have computer resources on campus, but that will not be sufficient to complete your coursework. The college does have some laptops and hotspots available for students to check out. Students are expected to come into the program with computer skills, which include managing files, accessing emails and the internet, as well as doing online research. People think that online learning is an easy way to get an education. In truth, online learning can be much more difficult than traditional face-to-face -face classes. First, your equipment will fail and your internet will go out at some point. You need to have a backup plan in place when that happens. You will also need to know yourself and your learning style. Online learning takes a great deal of motivation and self-discipline, plus time management skills are very important. Students are expected to log in at least three times per week for every class and commit at least 20 to 30 hours per week for homework. Nursing school is very much like a full-time job. Any nursing program is time consuming. That said, online learning takes longer than you think it will. It requires strict attention to directions, deadlines, and details. And an online learner has to be a very independent learner. Online learning can be more difficult for those who are not strong readers or for those who are non-native English speakers. Communication with your instructors is critical in every aspect of the program. We can't help you if we don't know what's going on. In addition to online lecture courses, we have skills labs and simulated learning experiences. 
Our new building has state-of-the-art labs and computerized mannequins for students to practice with. The idea is for students to learn online, practice what they learn in skills lab, perform the skills in simulation, and then apply them to patient care in clinical practice. Clinical experiences in our program are in a wide range of facilities, usually located in South Snohomish or North King counties. Types of facilities we use include assisted living and memory care, skilled nursing facilities, group homes or home care, acute care hospitals, long-term acute care hospitals, community agencies and schools, and mental health facilities, both inpatient and outpatient treatment. In order to complete the number of clinical hours required by law, students must meet certain requirements, including background checks, documentations of immunizations, including a COVID vaccine, documentation of TB status, CPR, and a urine drug screen. For more information on this topic, please refer to the video on clinical requirements. Prior to applying to nursing school, applicants will complete their prerequisite courses, which are listed on this slide. The courses can be taken at any accredited college or university, and there is no time limit on how long ago the courses were taken. We understand that anybody can have a bad quarter, so we will accept courses that are repeated. Completion of these prerequisite courses will not only prepare you for the PN program, but it will set you up for academic progression to the RN and BSN level. The GPA in your prerequisite courses must be 2.75 or above. To calculate this, add up the decimal grades from all seven courses, divide the total by seven, and you will have the average GPA for these courses. In addition to the prerequisite courses, students are asked to take an admission test. We prefer that students take the T's test. There are no absolute cut scores. We prefer that applicants have a total score in the proficient range or above, which is approximately 58% or above, and a reading subscore above 50%. If a student has taken a PAX or a HESI entrance exam for another school, we will accept those as well. Successful applicants will also have six months of recent patient care experience and will submit two professional recommendations. We give special consideration to those who are certified nursing or medical assistants or who have served in the military medical corps. We also require our students to be able to speak, read, and write proficiently in English. This is for two reasons. One is for patient safety, since communication is vital to safe nursing care. The other is that a medical record is a legal document and must be recorded in English. We assess English skills by looking at T-scores, grades, and having applicants complete a proctored essay after they submit their applications. Our program is designed for people who are already working in healthcare. Applicants are asked to document their work experience. We require experience in direct patient care, not just as a volunteer. This experience can be in a variety of settings as a nursing assistant, medical assistant, surgical technician, and in any number of other roles that deliver direct patient care. If you want more information, please check our webpage. There are more videos, program information, frequently asked questions, and an application for the program.
applicants usually fall into one of two categories. One category is a person who is just starting out on their journey and needs advice for planning their prerequisite courses. These folks should contact advising. We have a dedicated pre-nursing advisor, Kathy Dominguez, but anyone in the advising office can help with pre-nursing program planning. We also have a nursing navigator, Julia Erickson, who may be, some, be of some assistance. Email is always the best way to contact people. The advising office has in-person and virtual sessions with appointments and they have drop-in hours as well. The second group of applicants are those who have already taken their prerequisite courses and are ready to apply to the program or just have general questions about the nursing program. For those folks, Julia, our nursing navigator, is a great resource as well as the program administration staff in the nursing office. Thank you for your interest in our Edmonds College Practical Nursing Program. I hope the information in this presentation was useful, and I look forward to receiving your application soon.